Hey, welcome to Coffee Break. Grab that favorite beverage of yours and join me for a few minutes as we answer a question about ultra-wide monitors today. By the way, this is my always good coffee mug. And yeah, some of, somebody pointed out one of my coffee mugs was pretty shot. Well, it's a gift from my wife 25 years ago, going on 25 years ago. And it's just near and dear to me. Mm. Because I own an ultra-wide monitor, I get questions all the time about what's the best, you know, for this purpose, that purpose. Uh, I, you know, I thought I would address this uh, today. And I got a question from Sharak Sh uh, Sharma. Uh, and uh, Sharak wants to know, uh, can you suggest to me a good ultra-wide monitor for under $1,500? Well, the good news is with that kind of budget, the world is your oyster. Pretty much anything you want is going to be available in that price range or even less. So before we get started on the couple recommendations that I have, let's just talk about ultrawides for just a minute in general. I'm not sure who actually came out with the first ultrawide, but I believe that commercially LG really popularized the ultrawide monitor. And what makes an ultrawide monitor an ultrawide is that 21 to 9 aspect ratio. It's that cinema aspect ratio. Back in the day, it used to be referred to, I think, and you might correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, uh, it was called Cinemascope. Movies filmed in Cinemascope, that really wide field of view. they become quite popular. I don't know whether it was for productivity that made them popular or was it for gaming that made it popular. But either way, they've really taken off and a lot of creative professionals love ultra-wide displays and productivity people love ultra-wide dis ultra -wide displays. I know I love mine, mostly for the ergonomics of the whole thing. It's better to me to have one really wide display than two smaller ones side by side to one another. Uh, not as much in gaming, but gaming is a bit more immersive. Now, most of your ultra-wides today are all curved because they're being sold heavily to gamers, and gamers like that immersive experience. There are certain things to look for and to understand, and that is they come in different sizes. They, uh, from 25 inches, there's 29s, there's 34s, and even 38s. And the popular resolutions are going to be 2560 by 1080, 3440 by 1400, or 1440, and then finally, 3840 by 1600. One thing to keep bear in mind, the bigger the screen, the more pixels you want. That way the image stays nice and sharp. But another thing to consider is refresh rates, especially if you're looking at it to do a lot of gaming. Playing a video game, an intense video game for hour after hour on a uh, monitor that has a low refresh rate can generally lead to headaches and problems with vision and it's not a fun experience. That's why gaming monitors typically will have a much higher refresh rate than say one that's just meant for general productivity. Keep those things in mind. There's other things to consider as well such as the number of ports available, USB ports. You know, can I charge my phone? Can I charge my laptop while I'm uh, using this display, etc. Other things to take into consideration is do you have things like visa mount, or visa, v, you know, uh, visa mounting available to you? How adjustable up and down is that monitor back and forth, etc. You're going to have to live with this thing for a long time, so you want, might as well make sure that you're comfortable using it. So there's a lot of variables on there. But here's some other things. Other than refresh rate, refresh rate I think what else is important is how much a color space that that monitor will provide. Is it 10, capable of 10-bit color, for example? Uh, how much of the sRGB color space for color accuracy, if you're doing creative work and you're kind of making sure that the colors really look proper on that display? So there's a number of features to consider. Now, on to two recommendations. The first one is $1 shy of your top of your budget. At $14.99, I was going to put my Amazon affiliate link to it below, but they're charging over the MSRP by a couple hundred dollars, which uh, is not good. 
but it is uh, new from LG and it is called the 38UC99W. This on paper, now obviously I've not seen one up close and personal, but everything I've read about this display pretty much puts this display on, you know, on point as a good all-around ultra-wide monitor for gaming, for productivity, for content creation. This thing is pretty much on point across the board. It's an IPS display. It's curved, has 10-bit color depth, a 13, uh, a 3840 by 1600 resolution. So not quite 4K, but darn close. You're going to need a pretty potent graphics card to drive this thing, especially if you want to play a modern game in full 21 to 9 aspect ratio and at ultra settings. You're really going to need a super strong video card. Here's the cool thing. It has a refresh rate up to 75 hertz with uh, free sync. So again, that higher refresh rate means less eye strain during long gaming sessions. A one millisecond motion blur reduction, USB-C port and three USB 3.0 ports, including a USB 3 charging port, as well as over 99% of the SG, uh, of the sRGB color space. So this monitor is a good all-arounder. It's 38 inches, which means it is a massive curved ultra-wide display. LG makes great displays. I'm really happy with my older one. I think that would be an amazing, amazing display to have on your desk. My next recommendation is a little bit smaller. Now this is a 34-inch curved ultra-wide display. And this is sold by ASUS, and it is the ROG PG348Q. Amazon link to that down below. This is a stunning looking ultra wide. 34 uh, is 1340 by 4, uh, 1440p resolution on it, which is pretty typical in that range. It sells for around about $1,200, about $300 under your budget. It also has a really nice edge-to-edge -edge design, so not quite bezel-less, but it looks really amazing. And another feature of this monitor is really cool is that it is overclockable to 100 hertz for gaming, but it works with the G-Sync technology. It also features blue light filters. I don't think people are not paying attention to this whole blue light thing, but essentially it's the blue light from our screens and so forth that... Uh, keeps us from falling asleep. So blue light reduction is really, really important. So after a gaming session, you'll be able to get a good night's sleep. Now, the, these are two monitors, one for 1500. You can find the, uh, the uh, LG 38 UC99-W at Best Buy. Right now they're in stock for the 1500 bucks, but Amazon, no, uh, they're wanting 1700 bucks for it. Uh, the Asus, quite easy to find. Amazon affiliate link down below on that. And then there is a whole plethora of other ultra wides in between from various manufacturers, including Dell. I think HP's got one. There's a number of companies selling ultra wides, including these South Korean makers on eBay. If you're going to look to save even more money, believe me, I've gotten some fantastic deals on 2560 by 1440p, really nice displays. So that's it. Uh, hopefully I've answered your question as far as a, a, a good uh, ultra-wide monitor to get. I tend to favor LG as a brand. They've got good warranties. Their stuff is amazing. The build quality is great. I can't say enough good things about LG, but there are certainly other brands out there that will give you real value for your money. So. Look forward to hearing uh, your comments down below. Thank you for joining me for another installment of Coffee Break. Until tomorrow, see you later. Bye-bye.